guys, welcome to today's video, which is a stationery haul kindly gifted by Stationery Pal. Stationery Pal is actually hosting a special Black Friday sale where you can get 15% off your entire purchase from the 10th to the 30th using the code Emily Studying. Everything mentioned is in the links below, and they have tons of affordable stationery for you guys to check out. Let's get started into unboxing everything. So we got this nice box and it has some stuffing and some bubble wrap ASMR. And here's a business card and a nice little thank you note. First up is the Cherry Blossom bullet journal set, which is brand new to Stationery Palette, something they just released, and it's a bullet journal set. It comes with everything you need to start bullet journaling, including a journal, a pencil case, some stickers, sticky notes, a washi tape cutter, assorted pink washi tapes. They come in tons of different designs. This product is really great because it comes with everything you need. This is a mountain eraser which turns into a mountain after you erase it and it comes with a bunch of different pink pens. It comes with a Stabilo Boss, a Zebra Sarasa, a Pilot Gel Pen, a Uniball Signo Pen, a Unipropis Highlighter, a Tombow Dual Tip, and a pink Pentel Brush Pen, and a Muji Gel Pen. So it comes with quite a lot of stuff for the value you pay for. So next I'll be showing you the items and doing some swatches of the colors. Here is the window highlighter Unipropis that comes with two edges and the Zebra Sarasa gel pen which are one of my favorite pens and the Pilot Juice pen which comes in a neon color. I've never tried the Uniball Signo but it comes in a really nice dark pink color. And it also comes with some paper clips so here I am just testing it out like a normal paper clip. And then next, I got a bunch of pens, so here they all are. They're just assorted random pens. And here they are all laid out. First, we have the Zebra Sarasa gel pens, one of my favorite gel pens, and I got it in a few colors. But these, honestly, are the best pens I can tell you if I was to recommend it to anyone. And I also got this cool marble color that's in cotton candy and it's like a marble pen. These are the Zebra Modliner brush pens, which are kinda new, and they come with two ends, a brush tip, and then it's like a fine tip at the other side. These are the new Pastel Pentel Feud brush pens, and they come in really nice light colors. These are Pentel Energel Kawaii Design pens, they have really nice designs and the color of the pen is a blue which is honestly super smooth and it's a really nice dark blue color. These are the assorted black pens I got. So first up is the Zebra Sarasa as previously mentioned. This is my go-to black pen. I wouldn't trade it for anything else. This is the Zebra Sarasa Speedy, which dries really quickly, so if you're left-handed, you might want to check out this pen, or if you smudge a lot. The Pilot High Tech C is a really fine tip pen in 0.3 millimeters, and it's really smooth, actually. This is the Kokuyo Campus Vivid Dry, and it's also for people who are left-handed, even though I'm not, but I want to try it out. And this is the Pentel Energel, which is just another basic black pen. This is the Zig Feudum Biori metallic pen and it's honestly really smooth and the color of the silver is really nice. If you're interested in getting a metallic brush pen, I would definitely say this is the one you want to go for and it has a really nice shine and dries nicely. The Tombow Fudenusuke brush pen is my favorite brush pen out there. It's super easy to use and it was actually my first one so I definitely recommend it for beginners or anyone interested in starting calligraphy. These are Muji polycarbonate mechanical pens, they're pretty basic pencils. This is a Jelly Roll white pen and a Muji black plastic eraser. These are the new Mono Tombow 
graph mechanical pencils and they're actually really nice especially the design of the pen they come in pastel colors and the pencil is really high quality and the lead won't break it's just a really nice pencil in general so i got a bunch here we have the zebra mod liner highlighters and these are pretty popular and they're really nice because they come with two tips and they're nice pastel colors so i got a bunch of different packs if you guys are wondering what I am gonna do with all this stationery is I'm actually planning a giveaway for you guys so stay tuned for the holiday season around that time just a surprise and these are the zebra sarasa milk pens they come in really nice pastel colors that are really smooth however the white pen isn't as gray it's kind of hard to see and these are sumiko garashi stickers i'm pretty sure i did not say that properly they're for a friend and then some corgi stickers at the end these are blue sticky memos up next are some assorted sticker sheets and Stationery Pal actually threw in a bunch of their freebies, which is really nice. And they usually do this with all of their orders. So if you guys order from them, you usually get a bunch of free little things. Here is a Kakuyo Campus line notebook and the paper is super smooth. It's like one of the bigger notebooks, but in an A5 size. This is just a normal graph notebook. These are the Monami Plus pens in the 36 set. I was really interested in them and turns out they come with a bunch of different colors and they're really nice pens in general, which I'll be getting into. So it's a fine liner tip. The colors are super nice and dark or pastel depending on which pen you're talking about. And the tip is slightly flexible. It's not like a hard, hard tip, it's like a softish hard i don't know how to explain it but regardless these were actually really cheap i think like seven dollars and you got 36 of them so really good price for the quality next we have assorted washi tapes first i have a pastel pack and it comes with a bunch of them for a really cheap price too and they also come in a slim set here are some swatches of the color. They're just pastel and the sticky quality, you could say, is pretty good considering the price. And then here are assorted washi color tapes. They're just random colors, like they kind of come in cohesion but not really. And then here is my grid washi tape and I love this tape and some flying crane washi tape, which is really high quality and really nice tape. These are some eraser and pins, which were freebies as they always throw in. And lastly, the A4 Kukuyo Campus graph paper, which I've been using the entire time. So thank you guys so much for watching the entire video. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video and thanks so much for sticking around. Bye bye. And if you're interested in checking out more videos, check out these ones right here with my new end screen, which I just made. Bye-bye.